Hey, welcome back. Um, it's me. I'm here again just to teach you a little bit more about photography. So we're going to get into some more, um, you know, it's, it's kind of basic, kind of, uh, you know, on the more advanced side. Um, it's uh, We're going to discuss the difference between a full frame sensor and an APS-C size sensor. So uh, we're not going to go into, you know, uh, medium format and whatnot. We're just going to discuss those two formats. Now, if you don't know what those are and you're like, what the heck is that? Stay tuned because uh, you'll learn. By the end of this, you'll know. And it should take a good, you know, five, six minutes. I'm not going to promise anything this time. So check it out and, uh, you know, uh, you'll learn all about it, baby. All right, when shooting photography, um, you know, you're shooting through a lens and, you know, the lens is circular. But when uh, you look at your picture, your picture comes out square. Well, that's because in your camera, um, your, your sensor is square. When you look in your camera, there's a little, you know, well, not square. It's a, it's a rectangle. So I don't know my shapes again. Um, but uh, the little rectangle in there is a rectangle. So that's what you get. Uh, what's really happening is the light is coming through in a circular pattern and it, it just gets cut off by your camera's uh, inner workings and then you know it hits that little rectangle. Uh, the, the circle that comes through where it would actually hit if it was unobstructed is a uh, 43 millimeter diameter. So from top to bottom or any, any side to any side in the circle would be uh, 43 millimeters. So a full frame sensor is, you know, 36 millimeters by 24 millimeters and the rest of that circle just, you know, gets cut off by your camera's inner workings. And, uh, you know, that's what a 35 millimeter frame used to, used to uh, cover. That was the space. So in the old 35 millimeter days, that was what you were getting. Well, nowadays uh, it's called the APS-C size sensor. The APS-C size sensor doesn't touch the edges of where that circle would be. The APS-C size sensor is floating somewhere in the middle and it's 23.5 millimeters across by 15.7 millimeters down. And it, like I said, it's sitting somewhere in the middle. So it's not touching the edges. You're not getting everything that those lenses were built for. And uh, that's where that, uh, if you've ever heard of the conversion factor um, or the cropping factor on a lens comes from. Uh, so if you're shooting a wide angle lens and it's coming through in this, in this barrel of light is coming in, you know, you're 24 millimeters seeing all this and it's, and it's projecting into your camera, but your lens is only, I mean, your chip is only reading this much of it, or, you know, it's reading a smaller portion of it then it's not getting that full 24 millimeter um, exposure. It's not, getting the, it's not getting the full view of what you're looking at. Uh, what happens is it's, it's actually one and a half times smaller. So that's the mathematical formula. That's the, so that's the mathematical formula to figure out what your lens is gonna be. Um, it's one and a half times smaller than the full frame is an APS-C size sensor. So basically you would times your whatever focal length by one and a half. And there's a real easy way to do that. I, I do math. I was never like good at like, you know, all kinds of like, you know, breaking it down into how, how it's done and all that stuff. But this is basically how I break it down. Okay. You cut the number in half, you find 50% of it. So if it's 24 millimeters, half of that 12. Okay. And then you just add that to the original number, which is 24. So you got 36 millimeters. So a 24 millimeter uh, lens would translate to a 36 millimeter lens. Um, same thing with a, a hundred millimeter lens, uh, which is, you know, you, when you buy it, it's not going to say, you know, 150 or, or it's not going to say 100 for full frame, frame sensor. It's just using the standard that's always been used. And it's going to say 100 millimeter. But nowadays the new standard, which has been created because these APS-C size sensors are, you know, in 90% of the cameras that are out there, the, 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 basically it's one and a half times that is what your millimeter, what your focal length is going to be. So instead of having a 100 millimeter lens, you cut that in half, that's 50, you add that to the end and it's a 150 millimeter lens. Um, you know, and that, that's great. If you're focusing, if you're, if you're trying to get long distance shots and you want to be closer, you know, if you're, if you're at a sports event and you, and you can't get onto the field, you know, you need a longer lens. You don't have to pay, you know, and, and the difference between a, a 300 millimeter lens you know, or, or a 400 millimeter lens and a 600 millimeter lens is thousands of dollars, you know, but if you had your 400 millimeter lens and you put it onto your other camera, it's, you know, it's going to get you that 600 millimeter zoom, which is kind of like a technicality because, you know, you can do that. If you had a full frame sensor and you put your 400 millimeter on, you could crop it in the computer and get a picture that, you know, would be the equivalent of a 600 millimeter thing without, without losing all that resolution. You're actually, you know, you're losing a lot of resolution, but it's still, you know, going to be the same as if you had an APS-C size sensor. So it's not like you're saving all kinds of dough. You're just kind of losing all kinds of quality around the edges of it, you know. So you're losing a lot of resolution in your images um, to get that. But, you know, that, like I said, that's kind of the new standard is the APS-C size. So you're not really losing anything. It's more like if you get a full frame sensor, you're gaining. You're gaining quality and stuff because, you know, the standard is APS-C. It's just as far as the numbers go. You know, 90% of the cameras that are sold in the world right now that people have are APS-C size sensors, which means the other 
is, you know, between full frame sensors and, you know, medium format sensors. So, you know, the, basically, if you want to be a step above, you know, everybody else, or you want the, just a, a better base to come from, the, the full frame sensor, I think, is, is the way to go because, you know, right off the bat, boom, you're ready, you know, more quality. Now, a great photographer can take great pictures with, with any camera. You know, if, if I was in a situation and let's say I was at a wedding or something and my camera broke, I had a dream about this the other night that my camera broke and it was just, it was unfunctional. And I went to one of the guests there and I said, hey, I see your camera. You know, it was a, in my dream, you know, it, was, it, it wasn't the best camera, but I knew that I could use that and still get great pictures. I just told him, you know, I'll give you a hundred bucks and I'll use your camera and, and, you know, your family's gonna love you for this because you will have saved the day in the pictures. That was my dream. So, you know, and I knew, it, you know, in reality, I would, I would do that. You know, I would do that and I would get the, you know, aunt, whoever's camera and I would shoot the wedding and it would come out great. And I know I can do that, but I would rather shoot it with my full frame sensor just because I know that the pictures are gonna be higher quality and you can, you can crop in and still get a great picture. You can do different things with it and still have a great image that you couldn't do or you couldn't do so much with a uh, APS-C size sensor, you know. So, you know, that that's a big difference between the two. An APS-C size sensor uh, is, of course, smaller than a full frame sensor by one and a half times. Um, and and that, uh, that in itself is a, a big difference between the two of them, you know. Um, th there are pros and cons to both, okay?